All right, so have an image <coughs> of a pupil. We'll not mention his surname, but you know who he is. This was four inches by three inches. We've got the resolution given to us, 500 dots per inch. And we've got the colour depth of the image, which is 16 bit. Just as an aside, how many colours is this image capable of representing? And how do we work it out? 16 2, not 2 power 16. Good one. 2 to the power 16. Does anyone know off the top of their head how many that is? Roughly? No. No? Not being not that no. well. 65,536. Nice one. <laughs> or roughly, Scott, aye. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be exactly. Do you remember that? Nice. Nice. Just, just taking the calculator. All right. Just in case you get asked that way, all right. So just do base 2 because we're in binary. And the power 16 because there's 16 bits. All right, to this calculation then, what's the kind of rough formula for it for people that are really still just trying to grasp it? Could you do? What do we times the length by? Right. Yes, but not right away though. So I'm more thinking length times the height. Because our length's not in what unit do we need it in? We want it in pixels. So we need to do length times what to get into pixels? Yeah, but times 500, but times the resolution, yeah. Times by the height, times the resolution. So that, that works out how many pixels there are in total. But then what do we multiply that by? Which is? Yeah, times by color depth. So see if you're really stuck in the exam. Just go multiplication daft and hope for the best, all right? But hopefully you just remember to work it out. So plugging each of those in, we've got four inches times 500 dots per inch multiplied by the three inches times 500 dots per inch times the color depth, which is 16 bit. Now I'm going to get into good habits. What unit will I be working in once we get like, an answer to that? Bits, great. So let's get in the habit of putting our units in right away. Now, the question will probably say to you what unit they want it in, so we'll stop once it's under 1024. Okay, who can give me a calculate answer for that then, please? Okay, you got it, buddy? 40 million bits. Is it dead on? Just give me how many zeros? Four? Six zeros. Six zeros. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Sorry, I thought I had forty-eight. Forty-eight, two, four, six. Okay, quite a lot. Shouldn't leave it in that unit because it's massive. Makes it difficult to compare because some of the questions we may get asked next is how many images could you fit on a USB flash drive and so on. How do we make the progression to our next unit, which is what? Bytes. 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 How do we get there? Divided by eight. So make sure you show that in your working. All right. Always put your working in, in case you make a mistake like I did there. I would have lost a mark, but I still picked it up. Another two from my working. So how many bytes have we got? Uh, six million. Six million. Yeah. Let's not stop there. It's a better unit to put that in. Kilobytes. So get your unit written down. How do we get from bytes to kilobytes? 124. 124? 1024, yeah. 1024, which gives us? Uh, 5,859. Just say the first bit again, buddy. 5,000? 5,859.375. 5859.375? 375. Is that right? 5859.375? Okay, could we go into a lower unit without getting a huge horrible decimal. Yeah, so let's move in the next unit and then we'll stop with that. What unit will that be though? Megabytes. And how do we make the step from kilobytes to megabytes? Divide by our two four. It's a bit boring after that, doesn't it? Because they're all the same. Okay, what do we end up with then? 5.725.72 megabytes. Easy. And if you get stuck, multiply it. You write down the big cheat that we had as well. Big boys kicked my granny twice, punks. 
So we know that if we're going that way, the number's getting smaller, so we need to divide it. Yeah? Also help you get the units in the correct order as well. If you've got time at the end of the exam, what are you going to do with this question? Look over it, check it, check your maths, because there's me writing the mistake down uh, with the answer and so on. And then obviously questions about how it's stored, how it's different to storing it against vector graphics, advantages of compression they'll ask us about. Uh, and they may ask us about lossy and lossless compression. What would be the effect on the image if you increase the colour depth, in fact? Oh, bigger file size. Bigger file size, right? Picks up much more back in storage as well. They may ask us questions about how do you, how many images fit on to a USB 